Check out this pickup here, unique, especially in classics. Always a popular body style. 1982 Chevrolet C10 Scottsdale. Mahogany metallic, paint code number 68. Original color of this car, or truck I should say. 305 V8 underneath the hood. That's paired up with an automatic transmission. Go ahead and take a look at the grill chrome. Now, if you want to take your time looking through the still pictures, you'll be able to see the underside, interior, engine bay, uniqueclassiccars.com. Click on the link down below this video in the description. It's going to take you right where you need to go. And you can always call us, too, 507-386-1726. Riding on a little more modern chrome wheel, Firestone radials. And as you can see, the paint has a decent shine to it. Appears that it has had a repaint along the line. Let's take a look up and down the passenger side. You can see these panels do have some imperfections. I do want to point out a couple things as we walk around this truck. Um, have had a little battle wound right there behind the passenger door. I want to point that out. You'll be able to see it in the still pictures too. This is one of those trucks. Get in, drive it, have some fun. Maybe you want to take it to the next level. As you can see, upholstery worn too on the driver's side. Bench seat, dash, sewing somewhere above the speakers, quite common. And again, you'll be able to see that in the still pictures. Take your time looking through those still pictures. How about around the wheel wells in the back? Looks good. Does have a clean Carfax as far as the Carfax on it, no accidents indicated. And again, take your time looking through the still pictures. You'll be able to see the underside, interior engine bay, right close to 100 pictures of this truck online. Also remember, we do consider trades. Financing is available. Of course, we can assist with transportation. This vehicle may be eligible for an extended service contract. Consult with your sales associate when you call in or email. Vinyl tonneau cover. Appears the rear bumper is new or has been re-chromed. Dual exhaust. Print square body trucks, maybe just pickups in general. Maybe you're a Chevrolet fan. Go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Never know what you may see come through here. Lots of different vehicles available to purchase when these videos are made. And you can do it online or right off our showroom floor if you can come to see us in person. Let's take a look down this driver's side and around the wheel wells. There's lots of times where you see problems with them. It doesn't look too bad on this truck. Be able to see pictures of the box too. In with the still pictures of the tailgate down did notice there's a couple dingers down below. A little battle wound up here. Take a little closer peek at the interior. What door panels? Showed you the seat a little bit ago. Again, probably original upholstery on there has wore out and need to be repolstered. Uh, tilt column, I have had the radio working. It is an aftermarket Craig radio. I've also had the wipers working. This is a power steering, power brake, AC truck. I've not had the AC blow cold. It appears all the components are there. And we're gonna pop the hood, let you check it out underneath there in just a second. That light that you just seen go on and off, that is the fashion's fasten seat belt light. Better look at the top of the dash. If you stick around to the very end of this video, we can take this truck for a drive too. Sliding rear glass. Door closed as well. Sounds good. A little rumble coming out of that 305. Let me slip up to the front here. I'm going to pause it one second. Let's get this hood open. Again, we'll check out the engine bay. And then stick around at the very end of this video. We're going to take this truck for a drive, put the camera in it. I'm going to take you for a virtual ride, if you will. It's a good look at the underside of the hood. And engine bay. All right, so talking power brakes, power steering, AC. It does have an Edelbrock four barrel on there. 
mention it appeared that most of the AC components do appear that they're there. Also a battery disconnect for when it's in storage, maybe in between drives. You see the jack. Other components that should be underneath there. Nineteen eighty-two Chevrolet C ten Scottsdale package. Call us 507-386-1726, uniqueclassiccars.com. Remember we do consider trades. Financing is available. Of course we can assist with transportation. And this vehicle may be eligible for an extended service contract. Consult with your sales associate when you call in or email. Hey, did you know that this car qualifies for an extended warranty? It's just like the one you get at your new car dealership, except it covers your classic car instead. It covers all the major components like engine, transmission, drivetrain, and you can get coverage up to 10 years. Repairs aren't cheap. These extended warranties are a no-brainer. Contact us for a quote on this car today. Here we have a 1982 Chevrolet C10. This truck started up nicely. Idled nicely right away. We've got fuel gauge working, showing a third of a tank. Speedometer works. Oil pressure is about 55. The battery gauge and temperature gauge do not appear to be working. This truck has a nice exhaust tone to it. Good throttle response. We are missing the latch on the wing window here in the front of the door. So that's causing a little bit of wind noise. Our blower motor works. Uh, Craig radio in the dash. The FM works on that. There is a cassette player. We did not test the cassette player. Wiper is also functioning on this truck. As you can see, a little bit of wiper star here and a rock chip. Feels like a solid truck. Handles good on the highway. Bench seat. There are some tears in that seat for sure. You can throw a cover on that easily. Tilt steering column. So tell we've got power steering. The steering wheel is clocked a little bit to the left, but that doesn't affect the performance at all. Brakes are working well. There is a kind of a squeak noise as you turn the steering wheel a certain position. Yeah, right there. Ooh. She shifts nice and firm. I actually had a little tire brake loose there as we went from gear to gear. And the kickdown does work on that transmission. You no, know, it's a smooth running, nice running truck. Check out all the pictures and learn more about this truck at uniqueclassiccars.com.